Hello everyone, welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie, hope everyone is fine. Today I will be talking about non-verbal reasoning, complete the grid for 11 plus um, uh, students who is going for grammar school. Um, before we get into the video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell button, otherwise you will not get all my videos as your notification. Let's begin. So the non-verbal reasoning, complete the grid. Um, in this one, we need to find out, um, complete the grid, what we need to find out by for the given shapes, because they have given five shapes here. We need to find which one fits here. So if you see the first one um, in this first row, um, if you see the dot here, it's little turned this way, that is like 45 degrees clockwise. And the next one is again, is gone 45 degrees down. So if you look at the next row, so the, your dotted is in here. And then if you go the other side, it's going to be another 45. That's why it got the dot this side. And then the next one, 45, is gone to this one. So now we need to look at this to fill up the next um, grid. So if you see this one, you have a dot here. And then the next 45 degree will go. Uh, when this one turns to a 45 degree, it will come on the up the dot should be come on the up so that is going to be your c so your answer is c okay so we have given the answer for this and i need to write the reason what is that reason for so that you can be clear what a why did i why did i got that answer so if you see from left to right the dot goes to 45 degree clockwise so that's why we got this shape for c so that is the reason why do we got the answer for c so next we are going to look at the next example um which is we need to complete this because now this time they have given only uh, two shapes here and we need to find out the other shape from this one so let me see this one first. Um, if you see this shape, they have something outer, um, which will be facing like um, like in a mirror type. So this shapes should be both side facing each other. But if you see the first one, you have a big circle and then it's been like this, like split it into half. So the next shape was being given like, if you have a half and the shape has become um, split it up into like a half a glass. So now with the same one, we are going to find this. Because it's a circle, that's why we got a circle with a hourglass shape. Now this one is like a triangle inside. So that means we should have a triangle, but it should have like a hourglass type. So this one, if you see this shape, it doesn't fit because <clears throat> this is like a bigger shaded, but this one is a smaller. So this doesn't come into your answer. The next one, if you see this, this is right because it's like um, facing each other but if you see this one it's it's in the um uh, like if you see the shape it's like they have a glass but this is like the um horizontal shape so this will doesn't come as well if you go to this one it doesn't come at all because if you see this one should be facing like this so it doesn't come as well the next one is still the same because we have a big um dots of uh, shaded and the last one you can see here is because this is facing each other and then this shape is similarly like this one with the square so your answer is going to be your e so i will give you the reason what is that so the reason for this is working from left to the right the outer shape uh, reflects across um the whole inner shape if you see the inner shapes the whole In a shape shrinks and the shaded half splits into quarters. Quarters as well as the shaded um, quarters. move to the top bottom of inner shape so this is the reason that um, that's why we got the answer 
So I hope you got this one. So the next uh, example, I'm going to ask one of them to do this. So we will see what is the next question. So this is another example for completing the grid. Um, so they have given a shape. If you see this too, and then we need to find out what is going to be to complete the grid. So let me ask somebody. Yeah, can you try this? Okay, so in the bottom outcome, there is the same shape, but a shape inside it as well. So therefore, B cannot be it because there's no shape inside the other shape. And there, therefore, E cannot be the same. So we've got a choice from A, C or D. Uh, if we look from left to right, there is no relationship. So we can try from looking top to bottom. So the outside shape has shrinked into the second shape and gone inside the second shape. So therefore, since there's a square on the outer shape, therefore the square should go inside the shape. So out of all the options, A is A. It's okay. the option, therefore, I feel like that would be correct. Okay, that's good. A is going to be the correct, but I'm going to explain it again. Because if you see there's a circle and you have a star here. So the outer circle has been shrinked from top to the bottom. If you see here, the star remains the same, but the outer circle was being shrinked and it became a circle inside. The same way, this shape is going to be the same as it is, but the outer square is going to become and shrink into and come into in the center so if you see here outer square that fits into this but the, all the other things doesn't have so your a is going to be your answer so I'm, I'm going to give you the reason so the reason for this is working from top to bottom the outer shape shrinks to fit inside the star so that's the reason that's why we got the answer here hope you understand this one um keep watching all my um uh, resources for um 11 plus will be coming and you will um, see like lots of free resources that you can able to practice at home. Um, thanks for watching. So I hope you um, understand this topic. Um, if you have any doubts, come and me in my comment section. Um, keep watching all my videos because there will be more useful um, videos are coming. Um, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell button. Until I see in another video, Maggie signing off from you. Bye. Please subscribe to my mom channel.